It's pretty common that processing data requires multiple steps. You may need to map, flatten, and sort all at once. Lodash chaining makes this process pretty clean, but has a number of drawbacks. One major problem is that it requires importing the entire Lodash library, even if you only use a few methods. Here we have an example where we sort some data and then convert it from a number to a string. With chaining, we call value to get the final result. We'll run it and we see that the data is sorted and it's been converted to strings. If we wanted to convert this from the chain pattern, we'll need the flow method. Lodash allows you to import individual methods at lodash slash method name, but in this case we need the FP methods, which stand for functional programming. So we'll import flow from lodash slash fp slash flow. And then we'll also import sortby and map from the fp directory, since we'll need those methods as well. Flow will return a function for us that we'll call with our data. It takes an unlimited number of arguments that represent each step to take when processing the data. So first we want to sort the data. We'll call sortby as our first argument, using the same logic as our chain example. Then we'll map the data to a string. And finally, we'll call the function with our array. So we'll just copy the same input from above, and then we'll console log the result. When we run our code, we can see that we get the same result, but we've used flow to avoid importing the entire Lodash library. Because Lodash has over 300 methods and will probably continue to grow, importing just what we need can lead to a smaller and faster code base. So remember, we'll use flow instead of the chain pattern, and we'll import from the FP directory to get the methods which support functional programming.